Hi, beautiful Libras. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're doing well. Thank you guys so very much for your generosity. I do appreciate it deeply. Let's find out what the messages for Libra are. Libra. Libra energy. Ooh. Sacred inner space. Sacral chakra, tenderness, sensuality, halls of a menti initiation, secrets revealed, treasures uncovered, initiations, soul star activation, fulfilling soul contracts, remembering who you are. Merkaba activation, transcendent ascension, you are rising up. Stellar gateway activation, infinite potential manifestation vortex. While well, your sacral chakra may be being upgraded a lot of upgrades here guys i mean i know what these ones mean let me look up that stellar Stellar gateway activation, infinite potentials, and the manifestation vortex. The stellar gateway is the highest of our chakras and is found about 12 to 24 feet above our head. It's the energetic gateway that connects us with the divine matrix. It governs our connection to the spiritual laws of creation and the quantum field, it holds our life's potential as it holds all the intentions that we set before this incarnation and all intentions we've set during that support, the ever unfolding path of our earthly experience. Energetically, this portal is beyond time and space. And when we connect with it, we come into alignment with all aspects of our soul's journey including when we are a part of the cosmos. This card transports us to a stargate that has a giant pyramid within it. Above the stargate, there are three dimensional images of Thoth, the former priest king of Atlantis, who is one of the ancient masters holding the secrets of the universe. This image is a reminder of our potential and our ancient and starry connections. The pyramid is a symbol of rising power and how our soul has existed through lifetimes. The stargate is a projection of our own stellar gateway. This card is therefore a reminder that all things are possible. And then with the right alignment, we can draw the powers of heaven down to earth in order to create heaven upon earth. You are rising up, so you could be going through a lot of activations. We're all, and again, the halls of Amenti initiation is the same pyramid where secrets are revealed and treasures are uncovered and initiations. This is the highest, um, higher than the crown chakra. This is higher than the soul star um, chakra. You could be getting soul star activation right now. This is the, this chakra lies, what did it say, 12 to 24 feet above our heads. Like, that's a huge, huge, um, that's the ultimate, that's the last 
uh, chakra before we are able to access all the codes of Thoth. Code lights. The stellar gateway. So that's the highest achieving um, chakra that you can get. Some of you are going through activations right now, like you're being upgraded. Right now, you could be getting uh, soul star activations, where this is the chakra where you fulfill soul contracts and remember who you are. You are rising up, so it's like leveling up. You're going through all these ascensions. Jeez, Libra, you're, you could be uh, all over the place <laughs> with your energies. You're getting many, many upgrades right now. Let's see what's going on for Libra. Because you are a warrior. Animal guardians, white witches, magic guardians. Be brave, be honest. The Lord here. Take charge with authority. The elders are saying... Move beyond ancestral patterns. This is a new world. This isn't, you know, don't do as we did. Like, we're here to guide you, but it is taking it to the next level of what our elders did. It, it is upgrading and evolving. And they're saying to take charge and take action. It's like, don't just leave leave off where we left keep going keep going ascend ascend lone wolf <clears throat> take care of your needs shapeshifter transform and unveil your gifts some of you have the ability to shapeshift That's like going from wolf and eagle here. It is wolf and eagle or wolf and hawk. Instincts. Take care of your needs. Animal guardians. Trust your instincts. Owl. Furred and feather friends. Hmm. Mirror guardian. Take time to reflect. Sages. Be devoted and committed. This is sage energy. These are sages. Have a lot of wisdom. Hang on. I want to give you their interpretation. What is a sage? Here's the definition of sage. An aromatic plant with grayish green no, leaves no, that are used don't. as a culinary herb native to southern Europe and the Mediterranean. A profoundly wise person, themed for wisdom. Someone venerated for the possession of wisdom, judgment, and experience. So you definitely have a, a destiny to fulfill here. The elders, your elders may have been animal guardians, lords, um, shapeshifters, sages themselves. And they are telling you to move beyond ancestral patterns. This is a greater purpose here. The, the key, the goal is to get to the highest chakra possible. Infinite potential, manifestation vortex. That's the ultimate goal, is to get to this gateway. So the ancestors are saying, be, move beyond ancestral patterns. Uh, 
go beyond don't stop growth keep moving keep keep ascending go higher go higher go higher You could be an oracle, or in your ancestry, you could have, like, lords and ladies. You could have, uh, be animal guardians, mirror guardians, sages, oracles in your bloodline. And they're telling you to move above us. Like, that's pretty important people, okay? But they're telling you to move beyond. Don't just stop there. Surround yourself with protective energy and move in a new direction. Uh, wise folks. Wait for important information. Oh, jeez. So, love triangle. Someone is hurt, sad, upset, crying over you. Probably because somebody has been hating on your spirituality, your light, your magic, and your power. Mm. You may have blocked a lot of people. What's this? Bad parenting. Scared of a parent or hating a parent. These groupies are wolves in sheep's clothing. Hmm being haunted this is child neglect and bankrupt somebody could be getting memories flashbacks and trauma or the side effects of child neglect. Someone's looking you up, researching you. Oh, this is a wolf in sheep's clothing. They act rich, floss money, act fancy, show off, etc. What is this? You're moving in silence. Someone is actually, uh, could be moving. Because somebody has been ignoring, um, someone is, I don't know, there's child neglect here or scared of a parent or, or bankruptcy here or feeling spiritually bankrupt or emotionally bankrupt. Someone's been ignoring, um, Happiness haters forces their way to get what they want. It could be physical abuse. I don't know. Someone could have caught a case, a sexual infection, a sexual disease, or a spiritual disease. I don't know. Family issues here. Um, just saying, somebody could have been lying about you. Could have been saying that you're fake. Could have been saying you're a happiness hater. Could have been saying you had an STD. Could have said you were guilty of child neglect, bankruptcy, or having family issues. Someone's tripping on you. You're not bothered. See? Child services.
someone's in their head overthinking, stressed, and overanalyzing things. Hmm. Fake accounts. You really got a lot of people who just are hating on you, put it to you that way. Clarify this reading for Libra. Towers. People getting towers. This could be bankruptcy. Somebody could have been judging you. Somebody could have been flossing that they had a lot of money, but they're broke. They're bankrupt. Family issues. Sage energy. You could be the sage of the family. You could be the one that is breaking generational curses. Breaking generational patterns. Um, or your person. The lovers. Someone's been playing. This is King of Wands, the player. This is Destiny Karma. This is, ooh, forcing. This could be physical abuse in the home. It's saying move beyond ancestral patterns. This is being scared. Scared of a parent or scared of, this could be childhood trauma. Somebody is scared of a parent or scared to death. Scared to death. Hmm. A child. A child is scared to death. This could be this lover's child. Somebody's child is scared to death. Could be scared of like abuse or neglect. Holy, what's going on here? A child. Child services. Scared of a parent or scared, they're scared to death here. Of being alone. Uh, family issues. I don't know if we're talking currently or we're talking about, I haven't seen the past card here yet. It could be current. 
someone's child is scared to death of being alone around a parent, scared of a parent. There is child neglect, weight on important information. Somebody is forcing Somebody could have caught a, an STD or a, or a, oh my God, what are we talking about? Don't do this to me, spirit, please. God, I just want a normal reading. I'm really sorry, Libra, but stories like this are really, really hard to read. They're incredibly, incredibly upsetting. There's something going on in the home. This is neglect. Someone's child is scared to death to be alone around a family member. I don't know if we're talking about um, if move beyond ancestral patterns. No. Like if this is the past, somebody could have like post-traumatic stress disorder from being abused, neglected as a child. This could be physical abuse, mental abuse, sexual abuse. Someone is scared to death to be alone with a, a family member or something. Or this is their family... I don't know if this is current. Spirit, is this currently going on? Is this currently? Wait for important information. You could be the King of Pentacles. Or you're waiting on information about a King of Pentacles. Ooh. Truth. Somebody is ashamed or embarrassed to tell the truth or is embarrassed or ashamed of some truth. Waiting on important information. Now this could be child neglect, child abuse. There is a child here terrified, scared to death of being alone around a family member.
some light is being shone on this family. A light, a sage, is shining a light on this family. This family could be under judgment. Someone's child is scared to death. Now, this could be child services. Someone calling child services. Wait on important information. Oh, come on now. Is this current? Repeating cycles. Someone is embarrassed or shunning someone, embarrassing them. Sad, hurt, and crying. Neglect. What's going on here? Someone could be thinking that no one cares. This is family repeating patterns. Someone's embarrassed about their family or is embarrassed or ashamed, humiliated. I don't know. You're over here confident. Uh... Someone could be a runaway, running away from family, running away from home. Moving. Get out of here, spirit. Oh, my God.
Oh, somebody could be the victim of child molestation. Someone is suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD from it. I don't know. This is emotional abuse, physical abuse. This person's got wounds. Someone was very selfish. Lying. not somebody is furious angry here they've been carrying all this trauma <sighs> overthinking all up in their head It says waiting on important information. We got a whole family who's been under judgment here. An entire family is under judgment. Only you're going to know if it's current or past.
Spirit, can you tell me if this information is up to date? Yes. Somebody is waiting on information. This is current. ghosts that people don't want to see. This fucking perpetrator. Accused the child of lying. Their mother accused the child that they're lying. The mother might be lying. Save face. Save their reputation. You know, we can't talk about these things. This is karma. Or something in the past. Or because of these children. Hmm. that this child is manipulating and lying and they're not someone's in denial someone is angry whole carrying around a bunch of anger man trying to focus in on their work. There's a stalker here, man. I'm telling you, there's a devil here. Stalking. I cannot. I'm not doing this. I cannot. This is really upsetting to me.
I get right into these energies, guys. You have to be patient with me and forgive me because I really absorb this energy. Like I actually feel the feelings. I'm a different reader. I actually feel the feelings. And it's very troublesome. Take care of your needs. Set your sights higher and move beyond ancestral patterns. I want to ask, I want to ask why is this person sad, hurt? Is this gossip that's going on around Libra? Why is this person sad and hurt? I want you to clarify this for me. Why is this person crying, sad, hurt, and upset? Why is this person crying over Libra? Thinking? No, this is a karmic energy. Let's just see. Why is this person sad and hurt? Why are they sad and hurt? Thinking that you've healed or they're angry. Is this gossip or rumors, spirit? Is this gossip or rumors that is being said?
I don't know. It's again, this. Somebody manipulated a child or this child is being manipulated or they're saying this child is lying. I don't know what. Somebody could be going to court. To find out the truth. God, somebody actually could. This child is afraid. I'm telling you, they could have. This child is afraid to tell the truth because they might have received death threats. This child is afraid to tell the truth because people might think that they're foolish or that they're lying. Oh my good God, I cannot do this. I pray to God it's not you, Libra. I swear to God, I pray. I pray. It could be your person's past. I don't know. I just know someone wants you back. There are family issues going on. Now, I don't know if it's truthful or untruthful. Somebody is waiting on information of some kind of proof or evidence. Okay? But you know what? Intuition. If someone's intuition is telling them that there is something wrong, listen to it. And if somebody has been making these accusations or something like that oh my god they're going to be under judgment if this is a damn karmic energy who's making up stories about you lord I will have no mercy on their soul I swear to god It is some. Um, somebody has definitely, the, I mean, they got PTSD from it, for crying out loud.
if someone is guilty of this, they're under judgment. If it's some damn ass karmic making up stories and frickin' lies about you or this person, anybody, what does God say in the Bible about those who harm children? It is better for them to have a millstone placed around their neck and plunged overboard into the sea than to harm a child and keep that child from knowing me. Anyone, whether it's true or untrue, anyone who's using a child for self-benefit had better look out. Take care.